Hello students, so on the previous lesson we were learning about uh, what plane shapes are. Remember that plane shapes or flat shapes are shapes that are on a flat surface. Uh, now we're going to describe the angles in a plane shape. So let's review the word angles. Angles are formed by two rays that share an endpoint. Remember what an endpoint is. Remember that um, when we have a little dot, like a period, and then a line, and then another period, these are called the endpoints. So in this case, the angle is going to be formed by one endpoint. So in this case, instead of having two endpoints, we're going to have something called a vertex. A vertex is also a shared endpoint. This is another way to call it. Uh, it's something like this, and then you have your vertex, your shared endpoint, and then it has arrows at the end. This is called a ray. So it's two rays that share one endpoint. This is going to be the vertex. Okay, so to find the angles on a plane shape, we need to be careful and look for pretty much the corners or the end points of each shape. For example, if I have a shape like this one, like this one right here, how can I find how many angles this plane shape has? I need to go look for the end points. So remember, the end points is where the rays are being shared. That one will be one. This one will be another endpoint, another endpoint, and another endpoint. Okay, so how many angles do you actually see? This one will be one angle. This one will be another angle. Another angle right here. And another one right here. So you actually have four angles you on where to find the angles okay so remember that the angles are always going to be found on the end points you're going to see an end point and then two rays that one's going to be an angle another angle angle and angle but now there are different different kinds of angles uh the first one it's really easy to find the first angle that i'm going to tell you it's called the right angle The right angle is always going to be forming like an L. You see? Like an L. These two right here are right angles. All the time that you see right angles, uh, make sure to um, mark them as a square. That means right angle. Okay, the next one's called acute angle. This one, the acute angle, is like a right angle, but smaller. Okay, so it's cute. It's a little cute angle. Acute angle. So it's going to be smaller. Okay, not, not like the right angle is going to be smaller than the right one. Okay, so which one of these or these ones is making a smaller right angle? It's this one right here. If you notice, it's not straight. It's not going straight. It's not going like that. It's not going straight. It's smaller than that. Okay? So, now the last one is called the obtuse. The obtuse angle is the opposite of the acute. Remember, the acute is smaller than the right angle. It's just smaller. Or, well, the obtuse is going to be bigger than the acute. The acute is the smallest one, and the obtuse is the biggest one. So this one right here is representing the obtuse. Okay, now that we know where the angles are and the different kinds of angles are exist, let's find um, how many angles of each 
of the different ones are in this particular shape. Let's see. How many right angles do we have in this shape, in this plain shape? Remember that the right angles are always making a form like this one. So we have one right here and another one right here. And I think that's pretty much it, right? So we have one, two, two right angles. So how many less than right angles? Remember the acute is less than a right angle, how many of those do we have? We have one right here. Is this one making uh, less than a right angle, so an acute? Is it making smaller or is it making bigger than the right one? That's one that one's making bigger, so this one's the only one that is acute. So we only have one. And for that one, which is the last one, the obtuse, the greater than the right angle. Remember the right angle? This one's making a greater angle. So that one is the obtuse and it's only one. 